Jake Schwartz here again at the Hero Community Center for another edition of Voice of Reason, Philadelphia Black Basketball Hall of Fame, and two of the newest members of the Black Basketball Hall of Fame, Mike Anderson, Mo Howard, to Voice of Reason. And uh, I was going to say, uh, Mike, it's the first time here on Voice of Reason, and great to see you again, and uh, what a pleasure it is to have you here. I'm uh, following as a kid growing up in the suburban section of Philadelphia. What was it like playing in this city in this type of competition? It's great. I mean, it's great to see all my heroes and, you know, just keep it going. He is second first ballot Hall of Fame. Don't <laughs> Rico Wilson, the host, the, uh, I should say that, I, I forgot to mention that tonight's event brought to you by Black Cager Sports. Thank you, Del Greco. Um, and for those of you who are also wondering, this is not the father of Roman Catholics, Mike Anderson, but you can go. go. What go. was it like go, boys. Um, uh, with uh, uh, being around this young man here, Mo Howard? He was uh, a treat to be around when you watched him play, right? Oh, yes. Tell us, tell us about, tell us, Mo, tell us, tell us about what this means for you to be in this Hall of Fame. Seriously. Okay, you're going to give me the silent treat again. I know. Voice I know. of reason, man. Look, man. Is it, is it the voice of treason? You know, there's a long line of guys um, that encompasses the history of this thing. Um, myself, there's so many, many more men and women who are deserving of being in this. So, like, when I see a guy like Michael or Fred Stokes get inducted into this thing, I know I'm in the right spot. People brought, I brought this up with uh, Jeff Arnold, that uh, this really all started um, really with the passing of the late Claude Gross, that we honor Claude's memory among many of these greats that couldn't be with us today. And one of them, of course, that's behind the camera is the late uh, Mick Kilgore, the late Russell Butler, and the late Zane Major. And I know, Mo, you were very close friends with Zane. What do those uh, three mean uh, to Philadelphia basketball? I mean, they were all great in their own right. Um, Sue was a great player at the South, NBA player. Mick Kilgore was a great player at Temple University, uh, West Philly High. And uh, I know Zane was a Zane was, yes. Yeah, Zane was a Roman in St. Joe's. But again, you know, we're all linked to this thing. It's all, it's all part of our legacy. And I talked to his uh, friend, and she mentioned, oh yeah, Zane's mentioned, because all I had to do was mention my name. She said, of course, I, of course Zane knows the voice. Zane loves the voice. <laughs> and gentlemen, tell everybody what you're doing these days. Mike, what are you doing these days? Uh, this, um, you know, concentrating on real estate and, you know, developing properties and stuff like that. And Mo Howard, what are you yeah, doing I'm these old, days? We see you. I'm old and I'm retired. Yes. This and is also I'm digging it. Yes, this is I'm also, digging it. He is hey, the, uh, of course, for those of you who don't know, this is, of course, the father of of LaSalle uh, basketball head coach Ashley Howard. What a great... Uh, Drexel University start. alumni. And yes, <laughs> what a slow start LaSalle had, but they really are coming on. And how proud are you as a dad for a guy like uh, Ashley for what he's done? Winning two national championships at Villanova, the great success he had under Bruiser Flint. Are, how, how proud are you as a father? Um, I mean, what can I tell you, man? I got another son. I got yes, another, Guy Howard. I got another. Those I got a daughter. Yes. And I'm equally we don't proud of them, you know? <laughs> I'm equally as proud as she doesn't. Him, she so. doesn't talk to me at the games. I know, man, because you're a rat. <laughs> but I don't think that's enough. That's not enough. All right, Mike Anderson, Mo Howard on another edition of Voice of Reason, the Philadelphia Black Basketball. Thank you, gentlemen.